All right, guys, so we just got back from a quick rip with Jason. It was a great time. Uh, it was a little breezy out there and the water was rough and this boat just absolutely smashes it. It's one of the smoother riding cats on the West Coast and I actually wanted to do just a little bit of a walk around outside and then I'll walk through the boat to show you some of the stuff that you might not have picked up on, you know, during the normal video. So this boat obviously sits on a, a custom adrenaline trailer. Probably should have done this before we put it in the water because now it's got reeds and stuff all over it and the, all the floating stuff. But it's got a big breakaway tongue so you can put it nice, easy storage. It's got the, the atypical or trademarked, not trademarked per se, but what Adrenaline's known for is these really big solid ladders. Makes it real easy for guys like me with one foot to get in and out of the boat. Obviously it's electric, electric over hydraulic brakes, which is first class, uh, onboard battery on the trailer, onboard battery charger on the trailer. So you literally just plug it right in the wall. It's got the brute force jack, which is cool. That jack, uh, it's actually the same jack that I have on all my trailers. There's a little remote control that you can actually back the truck up to the, uh, to the trailer with the, with the cam camera on the back of the truck. You push a button with a remote and it'll lower it down onto your trailer for you. It's actually more handy than you'd think. Now to get into the boat a little bit and the trailer, the reason why Nordics ride so smooth, if Mike gets a front view of this, this is a very, very aggressive sponsor. It almost looks like something on a East Coast cat, like a skater or a Doug Wright. It's very, very aggressive. These cut through the water amazing. And the tunnels on a Nordic, one of the reasons why I'm a huge fan of them is they have the deepest tunnels of all the West Coast manufacturers. What deep tunnels and sharp sponsors mean, they're perfect for rough water. There is a trade-off if you start putting a lot of weight in the front of them, they start scrubbing speed pretty fast because they don't have the, uh, they have too much dead rise. They won't carry a lot of weight. So, but you know, when it's windy and nobody else wants to go out, Nordic's not scared to take a boat out and test drive you with it. Coming back here on the trailer, these are actually adrenaline casket lights. These are the same that I have on my trailer. They're different. They got an angular edge to them. Very nice. This one has the uh, casket lights, the, the large LED upgrades all the way across. Obviously, nice spare tire under there. Fuel wheels. You come back here. It's got the integrated tie down straps. I mean, it's just, it's a really clean package. First class trailer. Back to the boat here a little bit. You can see stainless rub rail to a half cap in the back. It's got a half cap in the front. Very, very cool. Bilge pumps, quick pin cleats right here. Normal cleats right here for ropes. So you can do your quick pin cleats for your buoys and or your ropes. So you can do your quick vice versa, whatever you want. Back here, you got Bob's machine jack plates. These are in fact manual jack plates right now, but Bob's actually makes a conversion kit for them. So you can convert them to hydraulic if you like. The 300 R's, very, very cool for Mercury racing. Something a lot of people don't know is these have uh, basically what amounts to the old school captain's call exhaust right here. So you can push a button on the dash and have actual exhaust sounds. So it's not so outboardish, or you can push a button and it'll send it out through the prop. These are uh, Max 530s, five blades. Just today we were out cruising around, not even trying to hit wide open and we were running 90 handily and it was still pulling. Great, great rough water boat. Lavorsi tabs right here. These tabs are super cool. Lavorsi actually offers a lot of options for them. They actually offer underwater lighting that you can integrate right into the tabs. A lot of people don't know that. They also even offer a, a, a stepped tab. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen that or not. On the back of a boat, they have a, a step tab that offers even more lift. Not necessary for this boat. Nordic did a great job putting a big swim step back here. It makes it very, very family friendly. Big swim ladder as well. So even though it's a high performance cat, it really has the feeling of a deck boat to it when you're in it. And we're gonna go through that in the interior in a little bit. But like I said, I just wanted to walk around and show some of the details of the boat. And uh, let's go inside and take a look. Okay guys, so we're up here on the boat and I'm actually standing on the walk-off right now. It's a pretty decent sized walk-off. When, uh, when we jumped into the boat off the dock, you know, when we launched it, it was exceptionally easy. It was easy on, easy off. When you're riding in it, it's cool because it's got all this room up here. So it gives you the feeling of the deck boat. But if you look down the, the gunnel lines here, it still has that kind of race, you know, prototypical tunnel hole, really, really sharp looking boat. So it gives you that, that kind of feeling that, uh, that you're in something sporty but it's got the functionality of a deck. These are molded right into the mold here. Very, very comfortable, obviously like that. They've incorporated speakers everywhere in this thing. It's got a very impressive stereo. These are integrated coolers here, huge storage right here. That is pretty cavernous as you can see. That's where he keeps his buoys and all that sort of stuff. But it's got a lot, a lot of room in this boat and a ton of storage. Now most 
you know, 26, 28 foot cats, they, they actually kind of lack storage. They're very limited underneath the back seat, things of that nature. This actually is like a deck boat. It has the two big uh, areas right here. We, he's got stow and go coolers on both sides, but they have a young infant and you gotta bring a lot of stuff with you when you have a baby. Believe me, I know I did it three times. So you can put all your stuff for your child in there, you know, the life jackets, the, the little shade things and all of that, right? The canopies are great. These are, I uh, can't remember the name of the company that made them, but there's very, very little distortion in these. Very, very comfortable. They actually do a great job of deflecting the wind. Typical glove box, you know, serious, standardized stuff. Love the dash. I love the fact that they got the two big tacks and then your uh, your glass dash there. Always first class, you know, with, with Nordic. They, they never do anything half ass. I'm gonna take it back here. My, I'll let Mike get on the other side of me and I'll show you just a little bit about the back. Okay, you ready? So, all right. So I'm standing back here towards the back of the boat now. Something I'll show you, very, very sporty, kind of race-inspired interior. This is real popular in, in offshore boats where you know the seat actually comes up and kind of hugs you a little bit. I thought that was kind of neat. That's something the customer can pick. They can do a normal, like kind of wide body seat if you're a little larger like me, or they can do a, more of a race-inspired seat. Even for me, these were very comfortable, very soft the whole time we're running them. All your controls are down here, stereo controls here and stereo controls there. As you can see here, this boat does have a bimini top and it's a hidden bimini. It goes right behind the back seat. So you can see the bimini right here. It lays right behind the back seat so it's not in the way when you're out running. You're not gonna trip over it. All your rigging's right back here and there's plenty of storage. This is where your batteries are, but they have four fenders right there. And this is where your quick pen cleats are and your fender storage is very, very nicely done. It's I hadn't even looked in there before and I already knew it was going to be first class just because I know Johnny and Thane over there and Ron, I mean, they all do a first class job. Hey, the, the battery switches are actually in the boat. You don't have to open any compartments or anything to get to them. I find that very nice on my boat. I have to open a hatch, get on my hands and knees and reach in there and turn them all on. It's kind of a pain. Very, very convenient. The charge port right here, you put a, an extension cord on that. It charges all the batteries, handles everything for you. This is an absolute perfect blend of a performance boat and a deck boat. It's still got all the sport styling. It has all the sporty characteristics, but it, it can play double time. And it's just a really, really cool concept. This was supposed to be more of a feature boat, not a Nordic commercial per se, but I was just, like I said, it's a one on one and it's so cool. I just had to do it. And God knows it's hard enough to get Ron and the guys over at Nordic to take a boat out. You know, they're, they're always so busy down there. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to show everybody what Nordic's all about. Anyhow guys, stay tuned, lots more boats coming, River Days Place 2022.